Retired police officers under the Contributory Pension Scheme have stormed the National Assembly in Abuja to protest over several months of unpaid pensions. Retirees who came from the state chapters to participate in the protest decried the extreme challenges that they had to face because the National Pensions Commission had not paid their pensions. The aggrieved retired police officers who are asking the President Bola Tinubu led Nigerian government to remove them from the Contributory Pension Scheme also wrote a Save Our Soul letter to the President of the Senate, Gatswila Fabio, calling for an urgent intervention. Speaking on behalf of his colleague, Chairman of the Retirees, Christopher Fiong, said many of their members have developed terminal illnesses and heart conditions as a result of the frustration associated with the scheme. We are here this morning as police retired officers under contributory pension scheme to tell our sons, our children in the National Assembly that we are dying in our glories because of the pension scheme. We find ourselves called contributory pension scheme. That obnoxious scheme is sending us to our graves in our glories day after day. You can see this symbolic coffin. It represents what we are passing through every day. There is no day that our retired police officers don't die as a result of what we came to be. That is not part of the arrangement when we joined this force. We joined the force and we are assured by contractual agreement that at 35 years, they will pay us our gratuity or 60 years of age. But somewhere along the line, they introduced this PENCOM and deceived us that whatsoever we contribute will be in addition to the accrued right. But eventually, when we retired, they gave us... They continued by saying, whereas there is a sister bill to exempt the police force from the application of the contributory pension scheme under the CPS 2014. Now we have we had we have presented a bill here by God's special grace, as sponsored by uh, Honorable Wife, bill to exit us from contributory pension scheme. That bill has been in the National Assembly for well over two years. We, it has passed through the first reading, second reading. We came here for public hearing while expecting third reading. Senator Elisha Abo, then at our state in the Ninth Assembly, came up with another bill of the police pension board. That bill has passed through. It was passed through, it has passed through the Senate since last year. It was just to him to be harmonized with the sister bill in the House of Rep. But since then till today, even the Tenth Assembly received this our bill uh, sometimes uh, on the 23rd of November last year. The first time that our bill came up on the floor of the house. So we were very happy that they are going to harmonize it, but since then up till now. It has been promise upon promises. It has not been easy because after serving the country for about 35 years, I was given 1.8 as my ransom and then given me 40,000 as every month uh, pension. That 40,000 cannot buy me local rice, back of local rice in Nigeria today. If, and if I can buy 40 back of rice, what will I give? What will I mix it with? Is it ordinary water? And what about my health? My children, I don't even have, because of the Nigeria factor, my children have graduated, but they have no work. I'm still feeding them, they are still under my roof. So what will 40,000 do to me? 40,000 is just too meager. So all what we want, all what I want is, they should exit us from this Addressing the protesters, the Deputy Chairman of the Senate Committee on Police Affairs, Senator Yunus Akintunde, said the bill the protesters referred to is no longer in existence because it was never assented to. He asked the protesters to create a committee that will join in the joint meeting to create a link between the National Assembly and the retirees so they would be abreast of the actions being taken to resolve the issue. We can't be playing with your life. We can't be playing with your future. As of this morning, I told the officers in charge, by 10, if I'm not here, we're supposed to be at that joint meeting. You agree with me, the issue of pension is, has to do with figures. It has to do that, okay, let's calculate this. If we are exiting them, what will be the cost? How do we do? I want to assure you that what we want you to do is to have like a committee of 10 to stay behind. We should be at a meeting by 10 on this same issue today. So those people can stay behind. I can accommodate them in my office. 
when we return from that meeting, we will brief you. So you will be knowing the progress of our activities and so on. Because